What's up, everybody? It's easy. We're doing two easy road trip. We are in Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Awesome clan. These guys just rock. Uh, if you are ever out looking for a clan and you are exceptionally good, find Murder Inc. Try to get on board with these guys. There are certain guys in this clan that don't do anything but three star. They just don't know how to do anything but it. <laughs> Decided to explain some of our our names. Don't ask me why I do this. All right, so first one, Chorn. He's one of them that he, I don't know. We're just gonna say Chorn. <laughs> I've watched now. This is, I think, the tenth attack, and it's been all three stars. Uses a couple of different attacks. This is the the boner attack. Um, we call it the walking boner when you use all the healers with them. And this is a this is a great attack. The only the only thing is, and there is a small drawback to it. It's it can be a little flimsy if you're not really careful because uh, you're, you're kind of breaking up the power of the bowlers. And we have 14, I think it's 10 10 miners. But if you keep your archer queen together and you keep the warden together with the archer queen and the healers stay on them, and you keep them at full health. And then you notice he puts in the clan castle troops, which is using giants in the clan castle, which is really, really common right now. And one of the great things about using giants in the clan castle instead of a golem is because if the healers get on the giants, uh, they'll keep the giants alive and they will eat through the walls, whereas the golem will get stuck on a wall and stay there for the rest of the attack. Uh, so, th th I mean, there is actually a strategic uh, difference with using, uh, even though there is a, a um, th you know, the setback for using giants is that even though their collective hit points are bigger than a golem, uh, if they all hit a giant bomb at once, then they collectively all go down. So, I'm sure I don't have to really explain that too much. <clears throat> so, this is a, a 10.5, no eagle artillery. And I've noticed that with Murder Inc. It's it's very similar with with Damage Inc. I think they only have one or two guys that have the Eagle Artillery out, so they're not facing a lot of clans that have the Eagle up top. Uh, and so I mean, it's a fair fight. I think Supercell has done a much better job um, as far as the top end of the clans. I've still seen a lot of the bottom end. Is, uh, you know, I, I think that the, that there's so many diverse clans out there that it's hard for them to match us up uh, if they gave a if we gave them two hours they probably could but you know we, we want matchups in a half hour and you're just not gonna get fair matchups every time <laughs> so here's big jake uh big jake is another one i i just he, I, don't, I haven't seen him make many mistakes jake doesn't make mistakes um using an older attack uh, i mean we can say this has been out of the meta for a while now and uh, it's gonna come in with Valkyries, back him up with, with uh, Hog Riders, using Giants. Uh, you know, he's, he's he's basically coming in as if he were with a kill squad. He's got uh, he's got four or five different Giants that he spread out. Came in behind him with the Wizards, clean out that whole uh, top left corner, and uh, he's basically just softening up that top left corner, creating the funnel for for the Valkyries. The Valkyries come into the base right in the dead center of that wall, brings him in there with the Bowlers. Uh, even looks like he had uh, uh, a balloon come out of the clan castle and uh, now they get into the core of the base and uh, once again this is another just overpowering attack and uh, you know it's great that's one of the great things that I've seen in this clan is they are using attacks that aren't necessarily even in the meta and they are destroying these bases with them it brings in the hog riders in the bottom right hand side of the base they, they, they quickly take out those few defenses down there and I would say that if he didn't have the hog riders, he would still three star this base. But based on how many troops he has left, uh, still has the healers up, still hasn't used the queen's ability. Uh, if I could read the screen, I'd tell you what level the queen is, but you're just going to have to read it. <laughs> and this is a quick attack. Uh, I don't know what it started off at, but um, I think the video total video time is 14 and a half minutes and the end of these videos that I do 
like the last two minutes are basically just all music so it's only about 13 minutes of actual replays I think I got five or six replays in there so these are not long attacks these things are like two minutes apiece okay GM's got the next one this is you gotta start off with uh, the bowler walk on the bottom right and right at the top you know my expert video making you can't see what's going on in the top part but he's also got another bowler walk going on the very top peak of the of the base brings Gollum in follows behind Gollum with the, the warden giants wizards and I mean I we see this more and more I, I can remember uh, I don't know maybe about a year ago where I was really surprised when I saw giants coming into the base on a, on a war attack and now you see them on almost every single attack and and the three star attacks especially pops the warden's ability he's going to get through into the core on the warden's ability right behind the warden's ability he's going to use a couple of rage spells to push his way through the core and now on the back side of the core he he has a whole line of of uh, storages in between the back side of the of the core and the outer edges of defenses so he didn't really have anything stretching into the core to take to, to damage the troops so they get through the core and almost that I mean there's a large group of troops that made it through the core so that's a that's a real common um, a strategy to put the troops on the outer wall and then put a layer of storages behind them uh, because you, you know players push to the core and then they have to work their way back out of the core so if you put all the storages on the outside of the base then once they get to the core everything's kind of vulnerable uh, the only problem is is that if you put all of the defenses on the outer wall and you put the storages behind them once the uh, other player once the attack attacker gets into the core most of those defenses can't reach into the core so and also something else I, I didn't really like about this base design is that they had that square around town hall and um, I just don't I, I think that's a terrible idea honestly because most of your troops are going to shoot right over that wall the rest of them are you know it's within their trigger zone so they're going to walk up next to it and it's going to force them to beat their way through the wall so it's just a waste of the of walls you need to back those walls up a little bit get some defenses in there with town hall put something in there with it don't just put a wall around town hall in the middle of your base so got a second attack in from the number one torn when I see you in the chat, you have to tell me how to pronounce your name. I know we only type, but help me out with this, because I don't know. How do you not know how to pronounce a five-letter word? <laughs> so, uh, wanted to show this attack, too, though, because this, this is a really hard attack for me to pull off uh, consistently. Uh, this is a bowler loon. That basically, you come in with a kill squad with bowlers, uh, and along with the bowlers, it's just an assortment of other troops that people use. Uh, and then you you bring in the Laloon portion of the raid and when you're attacking a Town Hall 11 or even even a 10-5 it doesn't even have to be a full 11 this is a difficult attack for me to pull off but I have seen him do this attack now several times and he just kills it look at all the balloons alive it's about to put down the uh, the clone spell and double up on those balloons right there in the middle freezes the back in Inferno Tower and now he's going to put the rage and that last that last rage in and these troops are going to fly over to the uh, inferno tower take out the inferno tower and you know the the expo they do high damage but it's just single a single target so it's, it doesn't do too much damage to these balloons and now he's got a couple ground defenses that the balloons are hovering over got one little pocket left and in under a minute he wiped out this entire base made it look so easy and, and the any balloon attack at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 is not an easy attack. These things, uh, the balloons don't have a lot of hit points. There are so many defenses, that, and I don't know. Maybe it's uh, I, I maybe get unlucky and uh, attack bases that know how to twist me up because I, I end up putting the balloons in and they don't go where I want them to. And I've talked to them before the attack. We all agree where we're going to go, and then they just do whatever the hell they want to anyway. So. But Chorn, when he talks to his balloons, they do exactly what he wants to. So, I don't know. I think I need a better union. A better balloon union. So, Stephen King. Now, if you've watched all three of the videos we've made on, on these guys, they... I've kind of got the same guy. These aren't huge wars. Um, 
but I've watched the same guys get six pack after six pack, and it's so consistent. So this is the slap. This is the this is a very similar attack that he did in the last video, and I just want you to watch the group of bowlers that he gets into the core. I think he has two bowlers that go um, elsewhere. Other than that, I think it's about 14 or 15, 14 or 15 that make it into the core. As as the Teslas are popping up, they don't even make it all the way up uh, before they go down with the with these with the uh, the boulders. And at this point, you know, uh, all the boulders kind of disappeared with with the uh, warden ability. But as they came back up, you can see as they split up, they're all there still. They may all be on top of each other for a second. But I think he's got 10 or 15 of them all alive still, right in the middle. Um, uses those two jump spells, which is really common with the slap. You'll, you'll have the jump spell to get into the core. And uh, the biggest mistake that I've seen people make with this attack is not bringing the second jump spell. Um, I've seen a lot of people that like to use the earthquake spell. And sometimes uh, if you use earthquake, you, you'll, you, you'll use other spells instead of that jump. But I would definitely suggest make sure you use a jump on the backside of, of uh, the core. If not, you will die there. <laughs> that's that's the most common place for for everyone to die, especially using you know because the bowlers aren't that uh, aren't that tough, the witches aren't that tough. So if you get into the core without a, a jump, you're going to be there and trying to beat through those walls, and then all the bowlers will end up splitting up and attacking different sections of the walls, and that's and that's where the attack will end is right there. So use the jump, they all follow the jump, they'll all exit the core just as fast as they went into it. And that's just a huge part of the attack. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, it's really late. I'm sure you can tell by how well I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay, so this is Alan. He's using a mass miner and level three miners too. They're not they're not max uh not he's using a mass miner, not maxed miner. And uh, got a little fortunate luck there. Uh, had a couple baby dragons pop out of the clan castle, and then went right over to to the golem. And then he then he was able to get a couple of wizards in there, and with one golem, two wizards take out the baby dragons. And uh, you know, baby dragons are probably the most common troop you see in the clan castle now for a reason, because they are deadly in the clan castle. If they get up over these miners, one baby dragon will end this entire attack. So now he's made himself a nice little funnel. He's cleared out all those all the all the trash buildings and defenses down there in the bottom left part of the base and now he's made a big solid line just kind of marching right through the middle of the base and uh, you know you you really don't want to do you don't want to spread out the miners over maybe six or eight defenses wide but if you can get it down to like four then they they'll be in these big groups of like five or six per defense and they'll pop up and they'll knock out the defense before too many other defenses can really even target it and just, I you mean, know, again, a minute attack, a minute and 20 seconds, I don't, I don't know, I, I keep forgetting to watch the beginning. <laughs> okay, so as Alan finishes up this attack, let's go into what's going on. We have the new update, the October update is in. That makes the update for the September and October complete. We've got Builder Hall 7. We have friendly challenges for the Builder Hall, which means that we will soon have tournaments. You can probably do them already as soon as you get the update. You can uh, you, you can start making tournaments for the Builder Hall. That opens the door for esports for Clash of Clans at last. So we will probably see that right around the corner as well. Um, I haven't heard anything about it officially, but it's going to happen. Trust me. And uh, and then of course all the stuff on the home village. So got tons of content coming. I've already got a 50 minute video that I'm going to break up a little bit and add some of the new stuff from uh, what we're going to be doing later on today once I get some sleep. And uh, and so probably tomorrow afternoon, my time, probably four or five o'clock, we'll have the next video out, which will have all the update stuff that everyone wants to see so badly. So I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, go to the website. We've already got all the information in the website on the update. It's www.clashmadeeasy.com. Go check it out for me. Sub to the channel. Uh, appreciate all all the feedback we've been getting. I keep hearing all wonderful things if you don't like it just keep lying to me because i do appreciate hearing good things <laughs> anyway sub to the channel for easy and uh enjoyed making the video hope you enjoyed watching it until next time it's been easy take care everybody